Everybody. Today we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to make some chicken schnitzel. A little bit complicated as you can see, I've got a lot of things out in front, but I'm sure everyone can cope. So I'll just finish chopping up these mushrooms, because we're going to make a mushroom sauce as well for our schnitzel. Because you can't have chicken schnitzel without mushrooms. And I'm using uh, one of my knives from my uh, CS Cox system block six block. It's a wonderful block. It's got a knife for everything in there. I recommend it to anybody. As I say, a little bit complicated. Let's trim this chicken up a little bit. We'll get rid of that bit there. I'll we'll make it too big, so I'll cut it down there with the grain. There you go. And I'll use that bit there. So, and we'll place this bit of chicken inside the cling film. And the fun never stops with this job. So there we go. And we use our Solaris Pro small frying pan again. Then we just Take all our frustrations out on it. Oh. This is the guy in the garage around the corner who told me my car needed a new engine. So dip it in the flour first. Make sure we're nice and covered. Do it a couple of times, make sure all the bits are covered. Because we want the egg to soak up into the flour and make sure that we get breadcrumbs on everything. Into the egg wash. And then into the breadcrumbs. There we go. So I think I'm going to use my large Solaris Plow frying pan. You see this is a big frying pan. I just need to turn this on. I'll put it on a medium heat, put a bit of oil in the frying pan, cover the bottom. Although it won't stick, it just helps, helps to brown the, the chicken because these, all these frying pans are non-stick. That's starting to warm up nicely now. Okay, we're ready to put the first schnitzel in. You can hear that sizzle as it goes into the frying pan. Look at that. I'm just going to use my exquisite to turn them over. Perfect for the job. Look at those, golden brown. That's one side done. The other side will only take a couple of minutes and then we'll be almost ready to make the sauce. Let's use my tongs. Okay, just have a look at the other side. Yep, they're done nicely. So I'm going to use the exquisite again and I'll put them on this plate. So our next stage is the mushroom sauce to go with the schnitzel. So first of all, we put the pan on to heat. A little bit of olive oil in the bottom. Put a generous knob of butter in the pot, top of the olive oil. Now that, as that butter's melting, as soon as it's melted, she's doing nice and easy. hear that sizzle. Okay. So we're now ready to put the mushrooms in. So put the mushrooms in. Wonderful. I'll put a little bit of salt and pepper in as I'm cooking. A bit of pepper. And some salt. Let's put the garlic in. You can see in there, they're coming a lovely colour now. Now we've got about a third of a cup of stock here. So I'll put that in. Right, let's put the sour cream in. Now let's cool down. Okay, last thing I'm going to add, a little dash of Worcester sauce in there. There you go. Whisk that in with the exquisite whisk. It's a lovely mushroom sauce over the top. And then uh, we'll do our, our normal chefy thing and do a little, little sprinkle around the outside. And our last little touch, just want to snip some of this lovely fresh parsley. I'll just sprinkle some over the top, a little bit around the plate there. And there you have it. So, what does the chef do last? He wants to taste it, make sure it's as good as it looks. So here we go. Just cut a piece off the end there. Looks like I've got a bit of the sauce. Mmm, mmm, that is really good. 